we're out here picking up our other logs. We got these three. This one right here is probably too big for my sawmill, but we'll check it out when we get back. Uh, we did the calculations. We should be able to get both of these on there. This one's only six foot. This one's about eight. And um, so it's gonna be at the limit of this trailer, but we ain't going very far, so we'll be fine. Got that 10% error. <laughs> yeah. All right, go for it. Let's see if it'll roll up there. Bad thing is, is this one's got that little doohickey, so hopefully it hits on top or past the rail. Otherwise, it's going to cause some binding and we're going to have an issue. But it should go up there pretty easy otherwise. Yeah, yeah that one, I think we're going to get lucky and it's going to fall right before and then come around the top. Still look good on that end? Still look good over there on that end? We may have to adjust. I wish I had brought another pole to go in Actually, the middle. Actually, it looks like it is pulling it forward like we wanted. Yeah, I think so. I just don't know if I need. Oh yeah, I still got plenty of bite on both sides. Yeah, keep going. Oh, stop. Why is it going that way? Oh, because there's that little ledge. Okay, but it's still okay. Whoa. Okay, stop. We needed to. We needed to have the hook on this side. Yeah, we should have went through the trailer and over there, but that's what I use the chain for sometimes. But I brought some straps to anchor it, so that we can hook a chain on there, and we'll do the double chain. So let's get that hooked up. Okay. Woo! That's a big one. <laughs> Maybe we should put some tires in the bottom. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna pull this one up and then over some. But we just wrapped it. Go for it. That's a weird sound. All right, that's good. We'll spin it around in a minute. And then we'll get ready for the other one. Okay, this one bent our fender because it was so uh, curved. Look at this thing. Look at that curve. So it lost all, all pull. Look at that right there. It lost all its pulling power up here and uh, got caught, you know, just the other one, we got lucky and the knot fell right before the fender. This one, it fell right on the fender. But, you know, hey, it looks like a work trailer now. I've seen a whole lot worse than this one's gonna look. It's got bent fender that we can fix and a little bent over there where the pulley hooks so found a couple weak spots that I need to fix um, if I just get me another ramp that'll hook on the get another one of these poles and fix it to where it'll hook onto that um, that'll fix that problem anyway I think we've got it up there it's fixing to fall in so we're ready to go that last little bit there Let it fall in there and then we're at the max of this trailer. <laughs> I wished I'd have had the camera over here because he thought that pole was coming over. <laughs> anyway, like all right, well, we got it. Cleaned up a little bit here. Got one more big log there. Um, I'll have to come back and measure that. I need to measure it before we go so I can check. But that butt end has got to be huge. So anyway, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.